Jacking Johnson back for another iOS development tutorial and in today's episode I'm going to show you a new iOS 6 feature which is Passbook. Now if you don't know what Passbook is, it's essentially a way to store all your event tickets, coupons, store card, loyalty cards, all in one place which is your iPhone. So you store these passes digitally and I myself think it's a really innovative technology, it's really going to change the way we think about these sorts of passes, you won't have to remember to take your ticket when you go to an event or anything like that. You won't have to worry about that. All you'll have to worry about is bringing your phone and you'll have your coupons, loyalty cards and that sort of thing. So your wallet will become smaller and I think this is a really innovative technology Apple has invented and is implemented. It. And to be perfectly honest, Apple probably is the only company that could actually implement this technology worldwide and that sort of thing. So in today's episode I'm going to show you how to actually create your own passes for Passbook. However, I'm not going to show you how to actually distribute it to your users, nor am I going to show you how to authenticate it um, once your user has it and authenticating that pass to make sure it's valid. Uh, so I'm not going to show you that, but if you do have a business or you know someone with a business that's planning to implement this technology, I'm going to offer this service to actually create you a passbook implementation for your business so I will set it up and everything like that and it will be all streamlined with no hassle on your part. Uh, so that service is there for a fee, just check out my website and contact me with what you want to do and that sort of thing. Alright, so basically today we're going to create a pass and there's a few things you need before you can get started. The first thing is you're going to need a developer account. If you don't have that developer account, you're going to have some trouble trying to get this. So go buy that developer account if you don't already have one because you will need one if you want to use Passbook. Now the second thing is you need to download some stuff and the first thing you need to download is this Passbook support materials and I found this easily by just searching the developer portal for Passbook and you can find all this information download that and put it on your hard drive. The second thing is you're going to need um, some identifiers for each of your pass and this is how you create one. So you want to go into your iOS provisioning portal and go into the pass type IDs just like you need an app ID to publish it to your app store or distribute it to your users you need a pass type ID to actually distribute your passes to make sure they're authenticated and everything like that. So what you want to do is click the new pass type ID in the iOS provisioning portal and it will prompt you for a description. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple movie ticket so I'm going to type in movie ticket just so this is just so we know what it actually is and what this identifier is for. Now down here in the actual identifier it's just like your company identifier for an app so Today we're going to own a company called Roxy Cinema and so I'm going to enter an identifier of pass.com dot uh, roxy dot movie ticket um, and I should mention that you won't be able to use the same as identifiers me because they are unique and you cannot use the same as someone else so I keep that in mind. So I'm going to hit submit to actually upload that stuff and you can see that it's been created however over here it says pass certificate it says none so this means that we won't be able to use it because it hasn't been authenticated nor does it have a certificate to use with the iPhone so to actually get it authenticated we go into action config and config again and it will come up with this little wizard just basically saying uh, request a certificate so it, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over to Launchpad and I'm going to type in Keychain Access. So launch, go ahead and launch that program. Now, in the menu here, the Keychain Access menu, you want to go to the Certificate Assistant and request a certificate from a certificate authority. Click that, and just like you would if you had a developer account and you're trying to set up your app and code sign it and everything, so it's sort of the same process. And you want to save it to disk, you do not want to email it to a certificate authority. So you click continue, I'm going to save it as cert to my desktop, and that's all fine, and it all went ahead well, so it's working. 
So I'm going to go back to my browser window and I'm going to click continue and I'm going to upload this file. So select the cert, file, open, generate. Now for me personally I sometimes get this error, I don't know why, maybe it's a problem in Apple system, but if you do get this error, don't think it didn't work because uh, that's what I thought first off, but I went and checked it and it actually does work. So I'm going to hit OK and what you do is you select the pass type IDs and you can see that it's been authenticated properly. It should have that little green button there. So that's it, that's all we have to do. Now we need to download that certificate to use with our passes, so I'm going to click download. And as you can see it just downloaded. So I'm going to open it up to, and then it will add it to the Keychain Access program. Alright, so I'm going to minimize these for the moment because I don't need them at all. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount these materials and these materials will just basically give us the template to work from for creating our passes. So I'm going to navigate into the passes folder and we're going to create an event because we're creating a movie ticket. So I'm going to copy this event folder dot raw and I'm going to paste it to my desktop. Alright, now once you've done that, um, I'm going to name it. So I'm going to name it ticket dot raw and that's it. Now, for this tutorial, I created some images and resources for our actual tickets, and I got these sizes from the templates that are here. So, um, I'll give you a download link to these resources so you can reuse them. Uh, so, I'm going to open that ticket.raw, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these, I'm going to copy them, and I'm going to paste them in there. So, they're all retina display supported and that sort of thing. I'm going to hit replace to replace all the images and I'm going to remove the background because I don't want a background in my ticket. However, you can have a background if you want it. Alright, so I've got all my images and resources my pass will use and what I'm going to do is open up the main configuration file which is the pass.json file. Now JSON is just basically a special way of formatting data like XML or something like that it's really great because maybe I had this problem before and JSON's really good because multiple platforms of different programming languages all support it so it's sort of a way say for example if you've got PHP and you've got an array in PHP and you want to send it to your app so you can't just send it to your app as an array because that won't work because PHP has got its own special format and Objective-C has got its own special format. So what you do is you encode it in JSON and then you decode it um, at the Objective-C end and that's how you sort of transfer arrays and that sort of thing. So JSON is sort of a all platforms format and I think that's why Apple went with it. So here we've got our configuration, don't be freaked out, uh, there's just multiple fields with different sets of data, it's pretty self-explanatory and if you want to find more information about how it's formatted and that sort of thing, you can find that in the Apple documentation. Uh, so the first thing we need to set up is the actual serial number, um, our team identifier and the actual pass identifier. So let's go ahead and do that now. So in the pass type identifier, I'm going to put pass.com uh, Roxy movie ticket. And remember that was the identifier we just created. In the serial number, for the moment, because we're only sort of playing around, the serial number doesn't matter. But if you're distributing this to a hundred users, uh, you really need to um, format this serial number uniquely and that sort of thing. But for today's purposes, I'm going to just put one, 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 one. It can be anything you want, as long as it's a string. Now, in the team identifier, this is used for accounts with apps and passes can actually use the app to update the pass. So, this is how Apple checks that you actually have permission to edit the app, edit that ticket. You can't just edit someone else's passes. So. We're going to enter, enter that here, and to find that out, you want to go into Keychain Access Program, 
and you want to go down to your certificate make sure you select my certificate get info and you want to copy this organization unit so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it in there then we've set it up and we've configured it properly now we need to do in go into the visual stuff and the fun sort of stuff so I'm going to scroll down here but before I do that I'm going to add some logo text and this is another field that you can add and again you can find this on the Apple documentation but I'm going to add it here and I'm going to put Roxy Cinema make sure you put a comma um, just check and make sure you've got the same format otherwise it won't work for you um, now down in the primary fields these are sort of the fields that appear on the ticket um, and are the most vital so for the key I'm going to type in movie and this is just basically a way to reference it it doesn't appear on the pass and I'm going to type movie into the label and what values is it going to have well what movie are we going to see? Well, we're going to see Resident Evil Retribution. Now, I haven't seen it, um, and if it's anything like the previous movie, I'm probably not going to want to watch it because that movie was terrible. Um, in the key, I'm going to change this to date, so I'm going to add another field and label I'm gonna add session because the user has to know what time they have to come and in here in the value I'm gonna add a time format which is the ISO time format so I've got a set timestamp here so you can use the same as me or you can find it out on Google Dash it's pretty long. Alright, so that's my timestamp. And we also had to have to add another field to actually format this time in a way we the way a way that's meaningful for the user. So we're gonna format create a time style field and it's going to have a value of pk date style short and that's it and make sure you end that with a comma to make sure all the fields are included um, and I think that's basically it for the formatting of this pass ah, up here I missed some things in organization you need to have the organization name so ours is Roxy Cinema and description I'm gonna type in movie ticket now in the foreground I'm gonna leave that as why well. and if you don't know what 255 two, five, five, and 255 five means it's basically white and for the background color I'm gonna have black so it's zero 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 and that's it and I'm pretty sure that's all the formatting here you can see that we have told it it's an event ticket and you change that according to what type of pass you're doing um, and I think that's it so what I'm going to do is go ahead and save it and I'm going to minimize this because we might need it later now we once we have created our pass we actually have to um, I zip it up and we have to authenticate it with our new downloaded certificate now Apple has provided us with a little program to do this so what I want to go and do is go into that support materials and go sign pass and open that Xcode project and just click don't unlock and that's it alright so what you need to do is you need to expand this out and go down to products and then you need to w Apple build so you just build the project which is Apple B not Apple build um, and then you need to right click show in finder 
You want to move it into your desktop or the folder where you got your pass and let's close this off. Now because this is a console program we need to open it from the terminal. So I'm going to minimize all this crap and I'm going to open up the terminal. So then you need to navigate to the folder of your pass. So I'm going to change directory to desktop and then we need to launch our sign pass program and to do this it's just dot slash program which is sign pass then we need to put a parameter of P and in this parameter we need to give it the folder where our ticket is so ours is ticket dot raw press enter and it will prompt you to actually use a key from your keychain click allow and if all goes well you should have this ticket dot PK pass and that's a zipped up authenticated ticket and this is what you can actually install on your users devices whether you email it to them or you give them a link to download this pass now we can go ahead and test this so I'm gonna open up Xcode and I'm gonna open up the iOS simulator alright so we've got the pass application here and we've got no passes in it at the moment so what I'm going to do is all you have to do to check your pass is just drag and drop it in and if it all goes well your ticket will come up here and you can see our ticket we've got our little logo here which is sort of a camera icon we've got the Roxy Cinema text and you can see that we're seeing Resident Evil Retribution on the 7.30 p.m. session and we've got a little um, album art or cover art or whatever you want to call it and we've got barcode here which you can change the text of and obviously this would probably be scanned at the door by the ticket person or whatever they're called and all you need to do to add that is click add and that goes and adds to your passbook and you can see it here so there's our ticket we just created that. Uh, that was a simple tutorial and I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Again, if you're interested in implementing this technology for your business, uh, go to my website, contact me and give me some details and um, I'll consult with you and set it up for you so you can implement it for your business. But that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys later.